hello hello happy new year and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome hope you enjoy what you see today i'm going to be talking about something that is definitely not what i envisioned when i started my channel um i just thought you know when i started this channel that i would be unboxing subscription boxes um but Today I'm I'm venturing outside of that, and actually, one of the other reasons I might seem a little nervous or hesitant is um, because it also um, gets into a very personal part of my life, and and it's a part of my life that I have not talked about on social media, like on my own personal social media. So here I am putting it out into. The world in a video on YouTube um, when I haven't actually put it out in the world um, on my socials but um, over the summer I became pregnant and that's actually um, part of the reason why I was off YouTube for a period of time the first trimester just took so much out of me um, between exhaustion and nausea um, I just it was a struggle so um, between that and other things we had going on during the summer, I just, um, I was absent, but um, then I've come back and, um, you know, we're kind of heading into the home stretch. And as we do, we're um, starting to acquire items for baby. And that means we're starting to put together registries. And as I've been putting together registries, I've noticed that some sites offer free boxes or free welcome boxes. Um, and I put that in quotes because so far that I, I don't know that it's necessarily been my experience. And because that's the case, I wanted to kind of go come out here and um, not only show what I'm receiving in these free um, welcome bags, um, baby boxes, but also talk about like what you have to do to get one. So today, the first one that I am going to talk about is the Amazon baby registry welcome bag. Um, I don't know if that's officially what they call it, but um, that's what I'm calling it. And um, I, I think it's like a box, but it came in a bag, as you will see. I have opened it up, I've looked at the items, I've gotten prices because that's what I do, um, but you're gonna still get my true, honest reaction and opinion of these items. Um, so let's start with the beginning. Um, here is the box it came in. Clearly says baby registry. So the male person didn't know before that I was pregnant, they know now. But anyhow, um, when I opened it up, this is what the bag that it came in. I was a little surprised it came in a bag because in the picture it is a box, or at least the picture online it's a box. So, I mean, I'm not gonna boohoo a reusable bag, but that's what you get. Um, in order to receive this, you have to hit three criteria. Um, the first is that you have to be a prime member. And what I will say about that is, had I not been a prime member, I can't say that I would have joined for what you pay for prime um, just to get this back. The second thing you have to do is Put together a baby registry and put on it 62% of the items um, or have 62% of the items that they have on their checklist on the baby registry. So they have a guide, it, it goes category to category and you need to um, have something either represented there or mark that you already have something in that category. Um, so that's a bit of a, a, a task, but okay. And then the third, and this is where I get to the, is it really free? You have to spend 
$10 off your registry. Now, I don't know if that is someone, anyone can spend $10 off the registry and then you, you get the option or you get the code or the um, ability to get the bag or if you have to personally spend $10. Now, I personally did spend $10. I was actually looking for some children's books and I found two that I wanted that were $5 a piece. So I put them on the registry and I bought them myself. So there you go. Not necessarily free for me. Um, maybe if I had waited till somebody spent $10, off the registry then it would have been free to me but nonetheless um, I did spend ten dollars and then what happens after that is that um, and my mind's a little fuzzy on it but it has a bit, it's been a while but not too long um, then you go and you go to the benefit of showing the bag and it has a um, a thing where it shows that you can purchase the bag, so you click it just like you were clicking like an Amazon purchase. It has a value listed of $35 for the bag, but when you go to the checkout, it's it, it that zeroes out. So you don't pay anything, it ships. Um, and I will say the turnaround on the shipping was about a week. It wasn't like Prime where it comes two days later. Um, it was a week. With that said, Let's get into what is in this bag. So when you first, um, one of the first things, and no, this is not the card. Um, there are a bunch of cards that are on top when you get the bag, and I don't know where it goes. And one of them is this, um, this card right here. And it says, we hope you enjoy this special delivery. Compliments of Amazon Baby Registry. Shop favorites from your from your welcome box at, and then it gives, you know, amazon.com slash welcome box. Uh, discover even more benefits at amazon.com slash baby registry. Okay, that's nice. And then it also has this. One thing to keep in mind is when you see the box on Amazon that um, it'll show some ideas of what you get, but you don't get exactly what is in the box. Obviously, it's a supplies um, as available kind of thing, or like, you know, supplies may vary or items may vary kind of thing. So, all right. Um, so like I said, I, I know what's in this bag. I researched the prices. Um, I haven't gotten in depth of like touching, feeling and holding them because I wanted to do this video, but, um, let's go for it. So the first thing is a swaddle from Amazing Baby, which through some research I learned is a Amazon in-house brand. And it is a newborn muslin swaddle, breathable, super soft cotton blanket. Um, it, the dimensions are 36 inches by 36 inches. And I really like um, that it is in a neutral pattern. We are not finding out if we're having a boy or a girl. So we're all about neutrals right now because um, that's where we are. But um, so this is the first time I'm really actually taking this out. But as you can see, it's a super cute print um, that is on it. I don't want to like it's so nicely folded that I don't want to take it completely apart. The one thing I think they said that you could use this is like a carrier cover too, if I remember correctly um, from what I saw. Okay, so I, I was looking for something out. The one other thing I was looking for and the reason why I was just doing that is because um, I also thought that it had sort of directions on how to swaddle a baby, like one, two, three directions kind of thing, but it doesn't look like it has that, or at least I can't see it on the edging or on the perimeter of the swaddle. So um, would it have been nice? Yes. Um, I'm trying to think, I, I don't know. I swear it was on um, this swaddle or when I was looking at this swaddle online um, that, it, that they had them, but this one doesn't or it doesn't appear to have them. Overall, I like it. 
it's it, it does seem super soft um, you know a little like I wouldn't say it like it's soft it's not I don't know what a swaddle is supposed to feel because I've never actually had a swaddle like this I've never touched a swaddle like this but it's soft um, and um, yeah so I'm happy I'm happy with the pattern as I said um, I don't have to worry about it being too blue or too pink or whatnot um, because oh and even if we did I would I think I would try to um, keep it gender neutral um, so it also in the box is this little packet um, and it says mini catalog okay so this is just a mini catalog of their products so there you go yeah so it's a good start I'm happy um, and this swaddle retails according to what I could find online at um, $12.96 so doesn't seem bad. Um, I have seen swaddle sets, now three of course, but like three swaddles for like $60, $70. Um, so, you know, 13 bucks doesn't seem too bad to me. Um, the next thing I'm gonna pull out um, is a Carter's onesie. And it is in a size three to six months, which I think is smart. Um, especially, you know, so many people have said that you could buy clothes and it's so tempting to buy clothes. Trust me, it is. Um, but, so, but so many like people tell me like, you don't know how small or how large the baby's gonna be until closer to the due date. So, you know, we're kind of holding off on getting clothes. We're also holding off, um, I mean, we're gonna have clothes for the baby, of course, but um, we're also holding off because we don't wanna have a lot in our home too early. Um, call it superstition, just being cautious, those kind of things. We are starting to acquire items for the baby. We're storing them with my mom, um, but yeah, I mean, that's all I can say is that we're just trying to be uh, cautious. So, all right, so here is the onesie. It's super cute. Oh, I love the animals. Um, and then the little snaps there. I really like that it's gender neutral. I think, again, it's safe because you never know who's getting what, um, you know, who these packages are being sent to in terms of gender. Um, you know, maybe they did this because I put that it's a surprise. I don't know, but um, yeah, I like it. So, and then there's just, you know, we got this and it's short sleeve, which is perfect for the time of year that we anticipate a baby to arrive. So we're excited. Oh, let me do that. All right, and let's see, there it does come with this in there, and it says, um, Carter's original baby suit, tag-free for no itches, strong snaps, keep up with wear, wash, repeat, um, shoulder overlaps for easy over the head and close easy over the head and closure um silky soft cotton styles it is soft i will say um when i did some research on how much a onesie like this cost it was really hard because i went to the carter's website and they just had um sets of onesies so I estimated the cost of the onesie to be around $9, which is reasonable um, for a onesie. So yeah, I'm pleased um, for sure. And then the next thing I'm gonna pull out are, is from um, Kindred Bravely, and it is organic bamboo nursing pads. And these are a pack of 10. 
so um, it shows you how to use them. Um, I do hope to breastfeed, so um, I had some of these. I had nursing pads on my registry. Um, Um, I did have uh, nursing pads on my registry. I actually took them off when after I got these because I had them. Um, I like that they come with a pouch. Um, and I like that they come in a pack of 10, the ones that I had had um, on my registry only came in like two, a set of two. So I had to put multiple ones on there. I may actually purchase in here the pads. Um, I may purchase more of these. Like I may purchase a second set of these. Um, I think that it would make sense. Um, I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell me how many I should have. Um, that would be great. These nursing pads uh, retail for $14.99. So um, that's not bad. I mean, I also, again, I like that they come with this um, little pouch. Oh, and it has a little snap so you can clip them on places. Um, I consider this a win. So I'm happy. And actually, I'm going to put this so I don't lose it in here. Oh, it says soap. Oh, sorry. It says soak it all in on the other side. That's, I just caught that. So. All right, what else am I getting here? Ooh. All right, um, Dr. Brown's Natural Flow Anti-Colic Options Happy Feeding. Um, so it is a baby bottle. And um, I actually have we have some friends who gave us a bunch of things and in them were bottles. So this just adds to it. And they were Dr. Brown's bottles. And it, oh, and it comes with a pacifier. So we'll look at that too. I knew that it came with a pacifier. I just didn't mention that it came with a pacifier. Um, so here's the bottle that it came with. And it's four ounces. So there is that that um, it also comes with instructions as well and um, happy passy okay and we have this it's in there Fire, which is nice because um, I know you're not supposed to buy like a lot of pacifiers but it is because you don't know what the baby's gonna like the most but it is good to have this some um, available on my registry um, so even though I have the Amazon registry a few other stores I actually have a all-encompassing registry through baby list um, just because um, I think Babylist is a really great place to register because you can not only link store registries to it, but you can also, like if you, you find an item on a random website that doesn't do registries or you don't want to have 800 registries, you can just uh, click it and link it to Babylist and it'll be there. So anyway, um, on Babylist, they do have a tri pack. Of pacifiers which um, I was hoping to get so this will just be you know a good thing to add to the collection the bottle itself retails for $9.99 the pacifier excuse me uh, the pacifier this is where it kind of got interesting what I found on their website was that the pacifier retailed one one pacifier retailed for seven dollars and 25 cents if you got three it was five dollars and 99 cents 
So it kind of seems like it should be the opposite way. But um, okay. But yeah, I mean, these are both items that are definitely good to have and I'm happy to have them. All right, so now I'm getting into like smaller sample type sizes. Um, I've got Kinder Care Bath Essentials from Noodle and Boo. It's for luxury for sensitive skin. So we've got those. Um, I'm just gonna keep these like this for now, but you can see that. Um, oh, I'm excited about this actually. Um, it came with Okay, let's try that again. It came with a uh, baby Cetaphil. Um, I'm really excited about this. I personally use Cetaphil. Um, I actually just switched to it, the moisturizer, not too long ago, and it has really helped me uh, with my skin and breakouts I've been having. So um, I am excited to um, be trying this. Uh, for baby and it actually also comes with a 20% um, uh, uh, off baby products you do it is through Amazon and there is a promo code I'm here for it I do not mind a promo code um, to get some money off so happy to use that um, this is also from Noodle and Boo. Um, it is elac Elasticity Oil, and it's for trimesters one through three for skin resiliency and restoration. So I will be using that immediately. Uh, what else do we got here? Oh, so then there is this flyer for Kindred Bravely. And I have heard of this brand. I've heard good things about this brand. Um, there's a few things that I actually want to purchase directly. I was kind of sad that this is not a discount code. <laughs> I was really looking for a discount code. It would be nice. So um, yeah, but I'm happy to have this. Again, I'm happy to have the nursing pads. I'm glad um, they were included in my package. Um, the next thing is, this um it looks like it is a snack it's um it's called nunana n-u-n-o-n-a i probably butchered it um and it gives you the energy and essential nutrients you and baby need breastfeed and it says breastfeeding takes a lot of energy um help fuel yourself with plant-based essential nutrients for postpartum recovery and enhance the um, profile of your breast milk with the essential the essential nutrients that babies brains and bodies need to thrive so um sounds interesting um it has 10 percent of daily macronutrients omega-3 vitamin b vitamins and iron clean ingredients refined sugar free um yeah i'm interested I just hope that it holds that it's shelf stable um, until I actually have the baby and am in that postpartum fourth trimester um, mode. Then I have um, two packages of Smarty Pants vitamins. It's sort of funny that I got these because I a long time ago had started out with these as my prenatal vitamin. I transferred to something else. Um, so I'm not necessarily against them, but it's just sort of funny that that's what's in there. Um, and they both have a coupon for $2 off. So, hey, that's cool. Um, they're a bit on the expensive side, if I remember correctly. Um, and then we have Johnson & Johnson Cotton Touch. Um, so you have that. And then there's some Aquaphor for dry, chapped, and irritated skin. Um, it prevent it's um, preservative and fragrance-free, so it's a healing ointment. So there's a little sample of that. And last but not least, um, there's a little sample of a Cliff Bar, which I love Cliff Bar. So 
I'm not complaining. Um, so that is what I got in my Amazon baby registry welcome bag. Um, I came to a total value um, of $52.93 to $54.19, depending on how much value you give to the pacifier um, in the Dr. Brown's bundle. Um, if you take my $10 off, or 11 with tax or whatever it was, um, then that's um, like somewhere around $42, 42 to 43 or something like that dollars. Um, still more than $35, which is what, again, they had said in the, um, when I went to go buy it or go, acquire it um, and then um, it's I think it's still a good value I think that there's a nice array of products in there that are definitely have the potential to be used um, again a pacifier a bottle a, a onesie which will definitely get used um, the nursing pads you know so overall I am you know I'm I think it's a great deal Again, I don't know that I would call it free because you do have something needs to be purchased. Again, I don't know if it's by other people, if that counts, or if um, you have to purchase it yourself. It said you purchase $10. Um, so, yeah. Anyhow, would love to hear your thoughts on the items in this bag. What do you think about, you know, the requirements to get the bag? Um, have you gotten it? And if you have, what items did you get? Like I said, the items vary. Um, so I would just love to hear your thoughts. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you wanna be notified when future uh, videos are up, please subscribe. Hope you have a wonderful day and hope that you stay perfectly you. Bye.